Hey there guys, this is Radlinx. I'm the lead developer of Noxbot and today I will show you the new economy system and the things that you can do with it. So basically, the economy module allows viewers to earn coins or custom currency that can be used to redeem items or rewards that you define or trigger actions or commands that require currency. Uh, to give you an idea what it's about, uh, let's start with the settings first. There, here in the economy settings, you can set the amount of coins that viewers can earn per comment. You can also set the cooldown called credit interval. In this case, it's set to 10 minutes. So your viewers can earn 10 coins every 10 minutes regardless of how many comments they post. You can also optionally set the minimum comment length. So in case you only want to award longer comments you can set this higher okay you can also set the coins cap which is the maximum amount of coins that a user can own so you can control your economy finally the do not track engagements made by my own page is uh, relatively self-explanatory so check that if you don't want to earn coins for your own page moving on to the currency settings here you can set your custom currency name in this example let's use mora as the cross custom currency name you can also set the coins command uh, this command is used to check the amount of mora that users have okay so for example if i type exclamation coins noxbot will tell me how many coins i have so you can also customize this including the format of the response Next is the attendance attendance bonus settings. Let me explain first what the attendance bonus is. So this is re uh, related or like uh, similar to daily bonuses in games. But in this case, it's more of a per stream, per stream bonus. Okay. So whenever you stream, there's an attendance bonus. Uh, in this case, it's set to 100 coins. And the command is exclamation point present. So whenever a viewer visits your live stream and types exclamation point present, uh, they will earn 100 additional bonus coins or mora in our example. But uh, the catch here, similar to the daily bonuses in games, they can only claim this once per stream. Okay, I hope that's clear. You can also set the relevant responses related to the attendance bonus here. Okay, now the item shop settings. You can customize your buy command and the shop items command. This is used to list your items. Okay, and this one is for buying items. The format is the buy command space the item code. Later, I will show you how, how to use this. Okay, then of course, you can also set the relevant responses here. And the gacha settings, you can customize your gacha pool command and gacha items command to list the items in your gacha as well as the gacha cost. So if you're not familiar with gacha, uh, it's very similar to loot boxes where a viewer or a player can spend uh, currency to get random items. Okay, so in this case, you can set the gacha cost here. So in this example, it's set to 1000. So the viewers uh, will spend 1000 mora or 1000 coins in order to pull one random item from, from your gacha. Later on, I will also show you how to define items on your gacha. Of course, the re related responses can also be customized here. Uh, finally, uh, the response for keywords and actions with cost. Uh, later on, I will show you what this is about. Basically, you can attach currency cost to keywords uh, so that users will need to have enough coins to trigger that keyword. I'll also demonstrate some examples for using that, using that feature. Okay, for now, let's save the settings. Okay, now let's go to the viewers tab. Here, you'll be able to see your viewers arranged from the richest to the poorest according to their coin or mora balance. Uh, you can also modify or adjust their coins by clicking the wallet icon here. If you want to add, just enter a positive number. If you want to deduct, enter a negative number. In this example, let me add 100 mora to me. Now, it's 11,000. 
in case you want to uh, deduct some coins just enter negative numbers and now it's 10,000 now let's go to the shop tab here is where you can define your shop items uh, that viewers can redeem first click edit items then click add item okay if you need multiple items define that once just click this multiple times then fill them up accordingly as for the fields the item code is the code used with your buy command to redeem the item so in this example let's define a battle pass in case uh, we want to give away some battle pass for the game we play on our stream okay so battle pass the item name this is this will be visible to your viewers then the price this is the amount of coins required to redeem this item so for example 1000 then uh, in case you want to limit the number of battle passes that your viewers can redeem you can set this uh, to a lower number depends on you set this uh, for in this example we'll set this to 10 now it's time for the creative part uh, you don't need to define items that cost money you can also set some uh, content unlock keys for example uh, mukbang stream so item code mukbang then let's name this to mukbang stream uh, unlock key and set the price to 10,000 and only one stock so in this example if a viewer purchases this item called mukbang stream unlucky on behalf of all other viewers i promise to do a mukbang stream so that's one of the creative examples uh, for the item shop uh, you can also set for example cosplay stream uh, item code cosplay cosplay stream then set this for example to 10,000 also but three now you can do something like if this becomes sold out or, or if uh if uh the stock reaches zero which means at least three viewers or three of these items were sold that's the time that you will do your cosplay stream okay so it's up to your imagination and uh, whatever stuff fun stuff you want to do for your viewers uh the items here uh, are not required to have monetary costs okay it can be stream related content it can be as simple as a fan sign for example fan sign with 2500 cost then five stock okay so uh it only depends on your imagination another would be for merch for example shirt awesome shirt from radlinks okay then price this accordingly for example 5,000 coins or more then I only have 10 shirts on stock so I, I'll set this to 10 okay when you're done with it click save changes now these items will be visible to your viewers when they use your items command here in the settings it's currently set to exclamation point items so let's try that now on the right side of the this video you can see a cropped view of my test stream for demonstrating this let me type exclamation point items and noxbot should reply with the list of items that we've just defined here noxbot replied with the list of items that we've just defined the battle pass mukbang stream unlucky cosplay stream fan sign awesome shirt as well as the prices in your custom currency the item code used to redeem the item and the number of items you have on stock per item okay so now let's try buying one battle pass submission buy battle pass since uh, we have defined the buy command to be exclamation point buy the format is your buy command space the item code there you go you bought a battle pass if you look at your item shop uh, you can see that your stock has updated it's now 9 instead of 10 since someone bought one battle pass if you also check your redeemed items tab you can see here that one battle pass has been redeemed by me from the shop on july 25 102 am 
in case you have items that need to, to be delivered manually or uh, for any reason that you have to add notes for the transaction or the redemption history you can click the notes here and add some uh, important details like delivered for example uh, you have already sent the battle pass to the user that claimed that uh, you can take a note of that here uh, so you don't miss out on the things that you need to give to your users now let's check if the user's coins have updated. Since I bought one battle pass, I only now have 9,000 Mora. So now let's go to the gacha. As mentioned, the gacha is similar to a loot box system where users or players can spend a certain amount of currency to get random items. To start, click edit gacha items. And similar to the item shop, you can click this add item button multiple times. So for example, we'll be defining 6 items to demonstrate. Okay, so this may look complex at first, but the gacha will be a very helpful tool for encouraging your viewers to stay and keep earning coins and spend the same coins on your stream. So now let's define the items in our gacha. First, select the type. You have two options. One is item, similar to the shop items we've defined earlier. Or Mora, for returning currency to your users. As to whether that's higher or lower than your gacha cost will be up to you. Okay. So for now, let's define our grand prize as the first item. The item code field, this should also be unique, but this won't be visible uh, to users. This will just be an internal reference for you. The item name will be visible to users when they inquire what the gacha items are. Okay, using the gacha items command. Exclamation gacha items is the default gacha items command. Finally, the weight. Uh, this one uh, determines the probability of your item dropping. Okay, so if for example, we set this to 1 and the total weight of all items is 100, then the probability of this item dropping is 1%. So the question is why are we using weights instead of percentages? That's because with percentages, whenever you add or remove an item, you will have to adjust the probabilities of all the items so that they total to 100%. With the weight system, you can ignore that. You can just use the relative values of the, the weight of the items to determine their probabilities. But in case you want to stick to the 100 total, you can just do it such that the total weights of all your items are still 100. So now let's define, let's target a total weight of 100. So setting this to 1 will give this 1% probability. And for example, our grand prize is a gift card, a $50 gift card. Gift card, okay, with the weight of 1. Then the next item, uh, this is mo also a price, but uh, not that much expensive. Let's, uh, for example, this is a bag, awesome bag, awesome bag with the probability or weight of three. Okay, now let's define consolation prizes. Now we've finished defining the Mora returns. So we have three items here, 100, 500, and 2,000 Mora. So our current gacha, co gacha pool cost is 1,000 Mora. So if the user is able to get this one, uh, he gets 100 Mora consolation. So in, in effect, he lost or they lost 900 Mora. In case they pulled this one, then they won 1,000 additional Mora. So finally, our last item will, will be more of a... Um, party pooper so let's set this to item with the item code better luck next time in the item name better luck next time card so this is a virtual item that is basically nothing so if your viewer pulls this one uh, it amounts to nothing it's just a better luck next time card okay so let's set this weight the weight of this item to 30 so our total weights, the total of our weights is 100, 30, 36, 56, 96, 99, 100. So each weight is also a percentage value. So our $50 gift card is has 1% probability. The awesome bag, 3%, 100 more, 40%, 500 more, 20%, 2000 more, 6%. Better luck next time card, 30%. Okay. 
Once you're done, just click Save Changes. Okay, so your viewers will be able to see the list of items in your gacha by using the gacha items command. By default, it's set to exclamation point gacha items. So let's try that now on our test stream exclamation point gacha items. Here you go. Gacha cost 1000 more items, $50 gift card at 1%, awesome bug 3% and so on and so forth. Now let's try pulling from the gacha. The default command is, is exclamation point gacha pull. You got awesome bag. That, that's a lucky pick actually since it's just 3%. Now let's try pulling again. Exclamation gacha pull. Okay, so now we weren't so lucky. We got 100 mora. Okay, so and you can also see the redeemed items here in the redeemed items tab. Someone got awesome bag, that's me, from the gacha on July 25, 1.44am. Then right after, he also got 100 mora, July 25, 1.44am. Okay, so that's it for the core of the economy system, the shop, the gacha, redeemed items. There's another aspect of the economy system where you can attach costs to keywords. So you can use this, for example, you have some fun sound alerts like uh, scaring yourself whenever a user types exclamation point boo so let's set that for as an example exclamation point boo with the sound alert of phasmophobia whisper there then set the cost to one one thousand more for example so whenever the user uses the exclamation point boo command 1,000 coins will be deducted from his balance. So let's track that one now. Right now I have 7,000 mora. Let's try exclamation point boo. And see if it pushes through. There we go. Uh, 1,000 mora was deducted from my balance and uh, the sound alert played. And example, uh, let's say for example I don't have mora. Let's set my mora to 100 coins. Then I type exclamation boo again to try to scare the viewer or the i mean the streamer but since i don't have enough coins this will respond with you don't have enough mora to use exclamation point boo and my 100 mora is still intact okay from the settings you can set this one the response for keywords and actions with cost if they in case the viewer doesn't have enough currency Another good use case for keywords with cost is for priority queues. So for example, you play a lot with your viewers, you can also open up a VIP queue which guarantees that they get to play with you. So for example, uh, keyword is exclamation point VIP. Let's set the action to queue. Then uh, let's set the cost to 1000 mora and save. In your dashboard home, you will be able to see the exclamation VIP queue. Turn, let's turn this on for testing and let's set my coins to 1000 again so we can queue. Then let me try exclamation VIP. Then for example, my username is Radlink so you can find me in-game faster. Exclamation VIP Radlink should queue me up and deduct 1000 coins right there. It deducted 1000 coins from my balance. And you have been added to the queue at number one so let's see in our home dashboard there we go i'm here i'm on first place and i've been added to the vip queue okay one last thing that we haven't tried yet is the attendance bonus exclamation point present should give me 100 additional coins for this stream okay you have successfully cleaned your 100 mora for this stream if i try this again uh, on the same stream Noxbot will not allow the user or me to get additional coins since it's a per stream only thing. It's a per stream bonus. Okay, so that covers the economy system. I hope you will be able to enjoy this new feature and uh, I'm sure you'll be able to add more fun stuff for your viewers. Uh, share it over at our Discord, your creative uses for the economy system. See you again guys for the next tutorial.